I would like to talk about a lot of the misinformation that's being put out about coyotes. Okay, uh, this gentleman you. was talking about how coyotes in the wild are not a threat, and he's right. But there's a good reason for it, because they're hunted in the wild. And that's why coyotes fear man in the wild. In the urban environment, it's a real problem. Uh, the other uh, misinformation was put out about how when coyote packs are disrupted, that they breed out of control. And that is the biggest lie. Uh, I have to point that out because Dr. Robert Crabtree, who was a science advisory member of Project Coyote, did a study with Dr. Eric Geese. When alpha animals were hit by cars or removed by hunters, beta animals stepped up every time. It, it, there's no mating free-for-all. Um, I kind of want to talk a little bit more about some of this misinformation. I want to talk to Mr. Fox about this. Uh, they, they talk about how uh, the coyote population is stabilized if they're not bothered. Uh, the last time I checked, the coyote populations are primarily determined by a Available food sources and suitable habitat. Is that or is that correct or? It's, uh, food, water, food, water, and shelter determine how how big the population is. Okay, because there's some misinformation that documents that the city put out saying that the that the. Coyote packs stay stabilized if they're not harassed, and I don't think that's the truth. I think coyotes, like any other species, are going to breed, and eat, and breed, and eat. That's it. Uh, We're only after the aggressive ones if we go in and trap. Yeah, and I One, think that's what three. everyone's asking for here.